Alright people, so Raw again was just a pile of shit. So let's get into the review here. We have the authority. Again, the same shit with this opening promo. How many times have we had the authority and Roman Reigns cut a promo for your opening segment? About a million now. And they do it again. They keep doing it again. This company is going down the shitter. The, rating, the ratings are low. When are they going to get the message that what they are doing is not working? Oh, so let's just do it. Keep doing it over and over again. So we get the same boring promo again. It's nothing good, really. Um, and what comes out of it is this one versus all match again. There's usually like an announcement that comes out of this first promo for the main event. What they have to do is just cut out the first promo and just announce whatever that announcement's going to be. It would, have been, it would have been very more efficient just to announce, oh, we're going to have a one versus all match. Okay. So, and they don't even know what they're, the, I mean, when Vince is announcing the match, he's like, well, maybe a third of these people, maybe two thirds of these people are going to fight. We don't even get like a, a, an exact number about how many people he's going to fight, but <laughs> whatever. So we get the main event announcement. Again, the promo wasn't anything special, wasn't anything good. So... That opening segment was just repetitive garbage. Then we get Sheamus versus Dean Ambrose just ending in a countout. Not a good match. Not a good ending. The only significant moment in this match was when Sheamus, you know, was bleeding, which was it was all right. Um, so yeah, that was good, but that was the only good part about it. So and then Owens comes down to the mat. Comes down. And then he attacks Ambrose for like 10 seconds and then gets, you know, re restrained by some refs. And then what really confused me was after the match, you're like, oh, Dean Ambrose is in the training room getting, you know, uh, looked after by doctors. It's like, what? Yeah, that makes sense. They don't, Dean Ambrose is the one getting looked at after doctors when Sheamus was the one who's got a bunch of blood coming down his fucking face. It's like, what the fuck? Again, there's your first illogical moment of the night. You got fucking, and there's more too, but you got fucking Dean Ambrose in the doctor's room, but not Seamus. <laughs> okay. So, and again, why is he in the doctor's room? Why, why is he getting evaluate, evaluated by doctors? He didn't have anything done to him. So yeah, I'll give that match one, one out of five stars because of the, the blood, I guess. I'll give it one out of five stars. Then we have um, the Usos and the New Day here doing a promo with uh, Jericho. Um, the promo was mediocre. It just didn't go anywhere. They were just talking about a bunch of random shit. And then the Usos come out. They should have just had like the New Day and Jericho go back and forth. But the Usos have to come out. Why? The Usos have no promo ability, no charisma whatsoever. And even Jericho now is being, you know, turned into a PG bore fest with his, you know, Rudy Tooty Pooty bullshit jokes. So, and the New Day would be much better if they could use, like, TV 14 jokes. Like, a lot of, I mean, I still think they're very funny. But, I mean, a lot of their jokes are, you know, dumbed down to a, to a childish level. But that's fine. I mean, they're still funny. But so this promo again, it, nothing really came out of it. There was no top, you know, no no main point about it. It was just kind of boring, really. I thought. I mean, it had a few good moments, a few okay moments, I guess. But overall, I thought it was you know not that great. So then we get the match. Uh, the new day lose again. You know, the, the, the your champion should not be losing like. Here's more with this fucking 50-50 booking. Your champion should be winning more than half the time. It feels like New Day loses and wins about half. It feels like they're 50-50. Uh, I mean, you should make your champion look more superior than, you know, most of the fucking tag teams. But they're pretty much on par with the Usos. And even like the Dudleys. I mean, they're not that much great, better than them. So the, the fucking Usos win. The boring fucking Usos win. Um, and the match was pretty boring. I mean, kind of your typical fucking tag match here. Nothing special. Um, you know, I was kind of pissed off to see the New Day lose. It's just, the New Day is a fucking really good tag team. A lot of people like them. 
They're one of the only good things going for WWE. And, and they they keep losing to a lot of people. And that's pissing me off. I hope they don't drop the tag belts to a much less superior, superior tag team like the Usos. The tag team division right now in WWE is garbage. I mean, you got fucking, you know, New Day, the Usos. And then who else do you have? I mean, the Usos are garbage. But there, there's not nobody else really. And yeah, I mean, I guess you got the Dudleys. The Dudleys are jobbers. The Wyatt family's not even like in the division because they're not really fighting for the tag team title. So you don't really have that great of tag teams right now. Um, then we have the Social Outcasts. And oh, I guess you do have the Social Outcasts, but they suck. So you have them versus the Wyatts. Apparently, we're we're we're, we're gonna get a match. But Ryback comes down and just starts beating up the Wyatts. And it was, you know, with the social outcasts. And it was just pointless. I mean, it didn't accomplish anything. I explained last week on my Raw review, the social outcasts are stupid right off the bat because of their name. They're naming themselves after something that's looked at as being bad. Being a social outcast isn't really a good thing. So why are we naming a tag team? The Social Outcasts. It's a very dorky, dumb name. But, you know, so we get a little brawl here and that's it. It was just a boring, short, two-minute fucking match with the fucking brawl. Very dumb, very stupid. Did not accomplish one damn thing. So I'm going to give that zero out of five stars. And then we get another match. I, I believe we saw this last week or sometime in the recent future. Titus O'Neil defeating Stardust. Again, just another jobber pointless match i don't want to see this these types of match on raw this is a, this is the type of matches that three hour raws give you they give you these kind of matches that nobody gives a shit about and this match was another boring dumb match so another zero out of five star match then we get kalisto defeating del rio for the u.s title and this is what i'm talking about. another illogical moment right here del rio Defeat Cena for the U.S. title. All right, beats him clean. Now we have Kalisto, a fucking jobber, hasn't done shit in WWE. I mean, what's he done? I mean, fucking jumped off a trampoline into the ring. That's probably the highlight of his career. I mean, don't get me wrong, he has talent, but he has not been built up. So, why the fuck is he beating Del Rio? It just makes no sense to me. It makes no sense whatsoever that you're going to give... He's a jobber. He's a nobody, basically. He's like Neville. He's He's got talent, but they don't build him up. So why is he... You know, it just looks bad. You know, that you got a guy... You know, you figure... You know, you're, you fucking beat Del Rio clean. You're going to beat Cena clean. You're going to get a fucking push. But no, flash forward two months later. Not even two months. Like a month and a half later... And he's losing to a fucking jobber for the belt. I mean, come on. And this is the pro this is why we have no fucking main eventers, no you know draw, no no you know nobody who can uh, fucking draw a, a, you know a, a fucking good rating. Nobody who's any star. Nobody who's a star. We don't have anybody because we we keep doing this shit. And the match wasn't even that good. I mean, you you would expect this match two Mexican wrestlers to be like. A very lucha based match, but it wasn't that good. I mean, you had a few hurricanes in there, but I mean, it wasn't really that good. So I'll give it one point two five out of five stars. So, to say the least, I mean, not really too pleased by this match here. I mean, if they would have built up Kalisto a little bit more prior to this. Maybe I would have been a little bit more happy. But it's not like I'm a huge Kalisto fan. He has some talent in the ring, but he doesn't have any. That's the problem with like Mexican wrestlers that wear masks. Masks. They don't have any promo ability. They don't. They they cannot develop a, a character. They don't develop a character, you know. So I, I that's why I, I I'm against the, the fucking mask. I don't get the the fucking point of masks. It's just pointless. <laughs> I don't know. Like like Sami Zayn used to wear a mask in ROH or whatever. They took it off, you know. Or he used to be all generic. They, they they took it off, and now I think that, that was for the better. So I, I hate the concept of a mask. Mask. I can't even fucking say the word. Then we have uh, Charlotte and Becky 
do what you know Charlotte's supposed to face like fucking Brie Bell or some shit like that and then Becky just comes in and again it's just like the social outcast Wyatt segment you have Becky coming in just doing a little bit of a brawl there and it's like wow that, that's it we get like a, a 30 second brawl between, between Charlotte and Becky and that's your fucking segment you know that's like I want more substance I want more to happen than just a fucking little brawl so, that was dumb. We don't get a match. It was short and stupid. So then we get the main event. We get fucking, you know, a lot of people against Roman Reigns. So, I mean, everybody's just waiting for Lesnar to come out pretty much in this main event. You got, um, you know, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens, which was very slow, very boring, filled with a lot of fucking rest holds. That was very brutal to watch. And then, you know, we get a bunch. Of, we get a little bit of a brawl between some of the more more of the people out there and Roman Reigns. And then, you know, there, here comes Lesnar. Lesnar comes out, beats up everybody. You know, some suplexes, F five to Reigns. So that was cool to see Lesnar come back. You know, f f do do some moves on people. But I mean, there you go. I mean, that's the only good moment of Raw. Fucking Lesnar. Two minutes of Brock Lesnar. So I guess you could say at least they finished on a good note. At least they finished with Brock Lesnar. But, I mean, come on, guys. Raw still sucked. Raw still was awful. Two minutes of fucking Brock Lesnar at the end is not going to save the show from being a complete disaster. I mean, it really was. It really was just your typical fucking Raw. Raw filled with shit. You know, illogical things. I counted two illogical things. So I guess a little bit better than your average you know, amount of um, illogical things on this show, but still, not a good Raw, people. Not a good Raw at all. So there you go, people. There's your Raw review. Overall, I give it half star out of ten. I mean, it was really, really a shitty show, and they're lucky Brock Lesnar was there, or else it would have been a fucking goose egg. So there you go, people. There's your Raw review.